Hi, my name is Vikram Raghu. I'm an applications engineer at Gainspan Corporation. And today, we are going to discuss the provisioning feature of our Gainspan module. OK, so this is the provisioning endpoint that we want to achieve. This is where the smartphone is connected to the home network, the router for the home network. And the Gainspan module is also connected to the router for the home network. And we can talk to the sensors on the Gainspan module, uh, on the Gainspan EVB, uh, through the existing network. To start off with, we have our Gainspan module host a limited AP network. This way, the smartphone can connect to it directly. We can actually uh, use the, the limited AP network to talk to the sensors on the board. However, for most applications, we'd like to have a bunch of these connect to a single network and also have the smartphone connect to that same network. That way, we can talk to all of the devices through, uh, without switching networks each time. So this is the cool part about the whole provisioning feature. We actually have the uh, uh, Gainspan module uh, host a limited AP network and at the same time connect as a station to the existing network. So once this connection has been established, uh, we can basically then remove the limited AP network and have the smartphone connect to the existing home network. So this is actually a, patent, a, a patented application by the company. So here, once we are sure that the connection has been established, we remove the limited AP network and then tell the smartphone to connect to the home network. And this way, we once again are able to talk to the sensors on the board. So that's provisioning. OK, so let's see provisioning in action now. So here we have the Galaxy, uh, sorry, this is actually a Google Nexus tablet. It's an Android tablet, and we have the app for iOS as well. Uh, this is our Gainspan EVB. We have our Gainspan module here. There are a couple of light sensors here, which we'll be interfacing with, just to show the uh, communication happens between the app and the board itself. So um, uh, this has been currently preloaded with the TLS application. Our TLS application is our temperature light sensor application, which allows us to talk to the sensors on the board. So right now, when I turn it on, it's going to boot up in limited AP mode. Um, that's basically where we host our own network. So I'm going to go, go on the screen here and look for available Wi-Fi networks. And it should show up as our TLS app. So you can see here the TLS GS2K shows that the network created by this board exists. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect to it. OK, now that it's connected, let me just go back to home screen. OK, so this is our Gainspan TLS app. With this, I can actually show you that we can talk to the light sensors on the board. So here, this actually shows the level of brightness, this light bulb right here. And I'm just going to shine a light onto the sensor itself, and you can see how it changes in the app. So you can see that the brightness went up. And again, and off. So. This app allows us to talk to the uh, board di uh, directly, uh, since we are connected to the limited AP network here. But now what we want to do is connect, have the Gainspan module connect to our home network. So I'm going to go ahead and provision it to do so. So go back to the home screen. Since I'm already connected to the limited AP network, I can go directly to the provisioning app. And here I'm just going to hit continue. And it's actually found the device, so I'm going to go ahead and click yes. So here, in this particular app, we want it to connect as a client. So under the client tab, I'm just going to say, select an existing network. Now I've pre-configured uh, access point to basically have the SSID gains, gains man underscore test with a password, which is password. So I'm, it's going to scan for that network. So the scanning process takes a little while. So it's actually found the network right on top, but you can see all the other uh, access points that exist. So we're going to choose that. And then I'm going to give it a wrong password just to show you how it uh, can handle failure. So I'm just going to give uh, some random password here. OK, so I'm going to hit Finish. And I'll just hit Apply Settings. So this is where the Gainspan module actually uh, tries to act as a client and a limited AP at the same time, where it shows uh, first tries to confirm that the new connection that we've given is secure so that our password works, everything is established. 
and at the same time you don't lose connection with the device you don't have to go back to connecting to it again and stuff like that so that uh, this is our verified provisioning feature okay so here it showed it actually failed so i'm going to go back to the previous screen Uh, this time I'm going to enter the right password. So this is the access point. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's connected. So I'm just going to hit done and then go back to the home screen. So right now, the module is connected to the uh, AP that I've pre-configured. So we now need to get our board to connect to the same network before I can talk to it. So I'm just going to look for Wi-Fi devices again. And you can see that our uh, TLS uh, uh, network no longer exists because once the connect, uh, client connection has been established, we remove the limited AP network. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to that same network. Yeah. OK. Now that's that that's done, I'm going to go back to the TLS application. Go back a step. So yeah, it can still see our device because we're on the same network. So let's see if we can oh. Okay, so here you can still talk to the light sensors on the board. So that's the provisioning.